Hello friends, today I am going to talk about one of the famous classical problem of probability that is Monty Hall problem. This problem is based upon the famous American television show Let's Make a Deal and it's named after the original host Monty and I'll try to explain the solution of the problem in two different ways. The first will be the simple solution in layman's language and second in terms of the conditional probability that is Bayes theorem. And here is a problem. Suppose you are on a game show and you are given a choice of three doors. Behind one door is a car and behind the others goats. If you pick a door, say door number one, and the host knows what's behind the doors. And out of door number two and three, there exists at least one door which has a goat behind it. And let's consider the host opens the same door, say door number three. Now, the host asks you a question, whether you want to switch to gate number two or you want to stick to door number one. Now, question here is, what is beneficial? Sticking to gate number one or switching to gate number two? Or, there is no difference. Now, I am giving you 10 seconds to think over. Any guesses? I am sure most of you must be thinking that it won't make any difference whether we stick to gate number one or we switch to gate number two because it seems that the probability of car behind door number one and two is same and that is 50% or one by two. If you are thinking on the same lines, then you are mistaken. This is what I am going to prove that the probability is not equal. I am going to prove it using two different methods. The first one, a simple method for each one of you and the second one using conditional probability or Bayes theorem for the mathematics students. Let's start with a simple solution. There are three possibilities. The first one, the car is behind door number one. The second possibility is the car is behind gate number two. And the third one, the car is behind door number three. And all three cases will have equal probabilities. Let us consider that you have already selected door number one. Let's see what happens if you stick to door number one and what happens if you switch to the other door. In first case, you have selected door number one and Monty knows that the car is behind door number one. Now Monty may open any of the two doors, door number two or door number three. Let's consider he opens door number three. And in case you stay to gate number one or door number one, in that case, you are going to win a car. And if you switch to door number two, you will win a goat. In second case, the car is behind door number two and Monty knows that the car is behind door number two. So he will never open door number two, he is going to open door number three for you. And in this case, if you stick to door number one, you will win a goat. And if you switch to door number two, in that case, it's beneficial for you and you will win a car. In third case, Monty knows the car is behind door number three. So he'll never open door number three, he'll open door number two. And if you stick to door number one, you are going to win a goat. And if you switch 
to door number three obviously you won't switch to door number two if you switch to door number three you are going to win a car and this table clearly shows that staying at door number one you will win a car in one case but if you switch to the other door you will win a car in two different cases means winning a car has double probability if you switch and the probability of winning a car if you stick is to door number one is one by three so what is beneficial for us switching is beneficial because the probability of winning in this case is two by three means double which clearly shows that we must switch in such conditions now i'm going to explain the same using conditional probability or you can say bayes theorem let us consider that e1 represent that the car is behind door number one e2 represents the car is behind door number two and e3 represents the car is behind door number three now all the three cases will have equally likely outcomes means probability of e1 equals probability of e2 equals probability of e3 equals one by three and let's consider that you have already selected door number one and monty opens door number three for you suppose this is represented by event a so a represent door a is selected and monty opens door number three here e1 e2 e3 are partitions of sample space because they are mutually exclusive and they are exhaustive means their union is equal to a complete sample space what we need to calculate in this case is we are looking for the probability that you win means there is a car behind door number one in short what we are going to calculate is probability of e1 given that a has already occurred and we know that according to bayes theorem probability of e1 when a has already occurred is equal to probability of a given that e1 has already occurred into probability of e1 divided by probability of a if e1 has occurred times probability of e1 plus probability of a if e2 has occurred times probability of e2 plus probability of a given that e3 has already occurred times probability of e3 now here we already know the values of e1 e2 and e3 the only thing left is we need to find values of probability of a if e1 has occurred probability of a if e2 has occurred and probability of a if e3 has occurred let's let's try to understand the meaning of a if e1 has occurred it means the probability that monte will open gate number three or door number three given that first door has a car behind it if first door has a car behind it then second and third both will have gate both will have goat means monty may open any out of these two doors which means that probability of a if e1 has occurred that is monty opens door number three if car is behind door number one is one by two and what is meant by a if e2 has occurred means the second door has car what is a probability that monty opens third door 
mod is never going to open door number one because you have already selected door number one it means in second case monty will definitely open door number three it means probability of a given that e2 has occurred is one in this case and what about the third case a if e3 has occurred e3 means the car is behind door number three and goats behind door number one and two you have already selected door number one monty will never open door number one what is the probability that monty opens door number three it is zero because monty cannot open a door with a car behind it so the probability of a if e3 has occurred is zero and substituting the values what will i get i will get one upon two times one upon three upon one upon two times one upon three plus one upon three times one plus zero times one upon three which will give me one upon six divided by one upon six plus one upon three if i multiply numerator and denominator by six I'll get 1 upon 1 plus 2 means 1 upon 3. It means probability that the car is behind door number 1 is 1 upon 3. And if I try to find the probability that the car is behind door number 2, given that Monte has opened door number 3, if I apply Bayes theorem, I'll get probability of A if E2 has occurred into probability of E2 divided by probability of A when E1 has occurred into probability of E1 plus probability of A when E2 has occurred times probability of E2 plus probability of A if E3 has occurred times probability of E3. Now here denominator is same, exactly same as that of last calculation. The only thing which has changed is the numerator. Here the numerator is going to be 1 times 1 upon 3. So the numerator will be 1 upon 3 and the denominator will remain same 1 upon 6 plus 1 upon 3. If I multiply numerator and denominator by 6, I will obtain 2 upon 1 plus 2 means 2 upon 3. So it clearly proves that the probability that the car is behind door number 2 is 2 upon 3 and the car behind door number 1 is 1 upon 3 given that Monty has opened third door intentionally. So this was all about the Monty Hall problem along with its solution in two different ways. If you like this video, hit on like button and subscribe to watch more videos. Thank you and have a nice day.